بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ستوري نمبر 95 and the topic is welcome to paradise welcome to paradise welcome is a word usually we know that welcome is a word is used in happy occasion especially when you want to embrace a guest happily in your house you say welcome in my house if you are receiving a honorable guest in your country you say welcome into Christchurch welcome into the mosque welcome into our organization and also when people achieve something when people achieve something suppose you went through a test admission test to the university and then you pass the test successfully you got the admission and then bc says to you welcome to the university or you applied for a job and we you went through interview and to interview and then you passed all the interviews you got the job you achieved something and you join there and the boss comes and say welcome to our team things like this and here we are talking about welcome to paradise also going into paradise is the biggest achievement of all we have little little success in this world but the biggest of the biggest success in our life according to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the biggest success in our life is if we can achieve paradise if we can get there Allah said in Quran فَمَنْ زُحْزِهَا عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَازِ If someone eventually can be saved from the hellfire and is admitted into paradise فَقَدْ فَازِ then definitely that is the best of the best success best of the best achievement so if servants of allah with their hard work with their constant battle against their own selfish desires with their discipline and sacrifice in their life sacrificing all the bad sinful things patience of sticking to all the good things if they go through all these things and they receive allah's mercy allah's forgiveness forgiveness and they are admitted to the paradise then that is the biggest success of all and when they will be admitted into paradise they will be welcomed so this is the focus of this story let us go to holy quran chapter 39 verse 73 and we see how they are going to be welcomed there bismillahir rahmanir rahim wasiqa alladhina taqaw rabbahum ila aljannati zumara hatta idha ja فتحت أبوابها 
وقال لهم خزنتها سلام عليكم طبتم وقال لهم خزنتها سلام عليكم طبتم فادخلوها خالدين الله سيزين قرآن وسيق الذين اتقوا ربهم إلى الجنة زمرا Those who feared their Rabb. Those who feared their Rabb. Feared the, the punishment of their God. In this life. And from that fear they stick to the righteous things and they avoid the sinful things. Allah says for them. They will be led to the paradise, group by group. They will be led to the paradise, group by group. I'll explain later. Let us just go through the meaning. Hatta idha jauha. And when they will arrive in the gate of paradise, وَفُتِحَتَ أَبْوَابُهَا And the gates of the paradise will be opened. وَقَالَ لَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا And the keepers of the paradise will say سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ Peace be upon you. طِبْتُمْ you have done very well. Congratulations. Fadhuluha Khalidi. Now enter into paradise forever. You will not get out from there anytime anymore. So now let us go through some summary of the hadith to understand this verse. Allah said that Zumara, group by group, they will enter. They will arrive there group by group. The first group will be Muqarrabin. Muqarrabin means the one, the group, they are very close to Allah. In this life, they put the pleasure of Allah, number one priority in their life. This Muqarrabeen people are, they always put the duty from Allah on them first priority in their life. They were all the time at first in charity, at first in helping others. At first in praying Salah, at first in worshipping Allah, at first in doing every good things for the pleasure of Allah. And in this Muqarrabin group, the top ones are all Allah's messengers. They will arrive there at first. The next group will be Abrar. Abrar means righteous. In, in paradise, when they will arrive, they will arrive like rose after rose after rose. Like armies, they make rose. In, in Salah, five time prayers in congreg congregation in the mosque, you will see that how beautifully they make rows, lines, one line, and then next line, and then next line. So they will be like rows. In rows, they will be in beautiful rows. In the Muqarrabeen, the first group, their face will be brightened 
like the moon. Abrar, their face will be also brighten, but lesser than the Muqarrabeen. Their face will be brighten like stars. And in each line, there will be same type of people. For example, the prophets, they will have in one line. They will be in one line. Siddiqeen in one line. Shuhada in another line. Islamic scholars will be in another line. The memorizer of Quran will be in another line. The good leaders will be in another line. The good parents will be in another line. Things like this. The line after line, they will be in groups and they will arrive. The first group, they will cross all the, they will cross the bridge over the hellfire very, very quickly. In a twinkle of an eye, like electricity. And the second group, they will be also able to cross the bridge above the hellfire, but will take time. And then they will be led towards the paradise, but before they arrive in the paradise, there will be another bridge. And on that bridge, there will be compensation giving and taking time. And on that bridge, that time will be the compensation giving or taking. Suppose one had humiliated another wrongly, so that victim will ask to Allah, Allah, he has humiliated me wrongly, I want compensation. So the compensation will be that the victimizer, the offender, have to give good deeds from his or her account to his or her victim. After the compensation giving and taking, then they will be led towards paradise. Also from Hadith we find that at first, who is going to knock at the door of paradise? According to Hadith, that Muhammad, peace be upon him, he will knock at the door at first. And the gatekeeper will say, who are you? Then he will answer, I am Muhammad, peace be upon him. Then the gatekeeper will reply, the gatekeeper will say, I am commanded by Allah that I must not open the door for no one before you. So, you have come and I am going to open the door. In paradise, there will be eight, there are eight doors in paradise. Eight doors. And the width of each door is about 40 years travel path. Each door, the width of each door will be 40 years travel path. And this 40 years travel path, how far according to this world? Calculation Allah knows best, but it is very clear that each door will be very, very, very wide. So, the doors will be eight, and some doors will be particularly for some worshippers. For example, one door will be named Arrayan. And only the people who have observed fasting for the pleasure of Allah, they will be allowed to enter through that door. That will be a special uh, welcoming for them will be organized. Holy Prophet said in a hadith that if anyone, if any Muslim, make ablution very well, properly. And after ablution, he or she regularly says this. So remember this. After ablution, after proper ablution, he or she recites, 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله I bear witness that there is no other God but Allah and Muhammad peace be upon him he is Allah's servant and Allah's messenger if someone recite that regularly then Prophet وسلم, said that for that person in the paradise the eight doors will be opened and will be said you choose to get into paradise through any one of the door you like then the angels will say tibutum you have done very well congratulations you have made it you had right feet you had right action you did discipline yourself rightly you did struggle against your selfish desires likely you did sacrifice your time your talent your energy your money in charity in doing good things in uh, uh, pleasing your god etc etc you have done very very well and congratulations today for your hard work you deserve allah's mercy you deserve allah's forgiveness fadkhuluha khalidin so enter into the paradise forever and also we find few facts briefly from hadith that before they enter into paradise they will see a big tree over there and around the tree they will see that two springs have come out two like a two riba in one riba they will have a bath they will have a bath before they enter into paradise Once they will have a bath, then their face, body will be brightened. Their face and body will be brightened. Their hair will be combed forever. Forever. They will not need any more combing to do combing like we do every day. Or like we have dandruff. Or we uh, uh, need to cut hair you know, after a few days because they grow. But the the size of the hair the style of the hair the combing of the hair after this bath will stay same forever in after that bath in that river their age their beauty will never change they will receive the age around about 33 years old and from that point on the age will never grow and they will remain in 33 years forever they will be young forever so that will be the result of the bathing in one particular river there another river will be for drinking water so from that river they will drink water the moment they will drink water what will happen their stomach dark will disappear and from that point on they will never have any stool they will never have any urine they will never have any semen discharge they will never have any saliva they will never have any mucus they will never be sick again and so on and so forth because in paradise this is allah's promise that no one will suffer no one will be hungry no one will be old no one will be sick and fala khawfun alayhim wala hum yahzanun and no one will have any fear and no one will have any anxieties so before they enter into there allah will make sure through this two nahar to riba one for drinking one for bathing that all these human uh, limitations that we are going through today will be changed once they will enter into paradise khalidin they will never die they will never get old they will never be sick 
they will never be unhappy, they will never have to do any work, they will never have to pay any rent, they will never have to do any cooking, they will never have to do any cleaning, etc., etc. Why everything is free? Allah said in Holy Quran, Nuzulam min ghafoorir raheem. Because that will be the hospitality from all forgiving Allah and all merciful Allah. That's why in paradise everything will be so positive, happy and no hardship, nothing at all. So that's how the, the lucky, the most fortunate, the most successful people will be welcomed into paradise and they will be given place in paradise with complete happiness. The happiness will run forever. May Allah grant us to be there. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.